Spofford kills it. He has a checkered past like your boy. Them ones covered in tats who lived that life. I mean, they came back from just death. I mean, I know he lost a bunch of his homies in that whole drug life, and then he went into the um, he went into the treatment center business. He sold some treatment centers, and now he's been sober for I think it's like 17 years or something. But the whole thing is, is we vibed for a while, and he's all he was on my coaching program, just getting in shape, getting the mind right working with stuff on business and then he started dropping his coaching program i helped him drop his coaching program once he dropped his coaching program now there's a mastermind now we're going there these this is what you do you get around the people who won't accept less and they expect more of you my little homie right here when he met me he was making 5k a month now he makes 130,000 a month and we're telling him that he could pay for at least you know the truffle sprinklings on my steak off that 130 a month Eric Spofford here in Las Vegas, just shot a podcast with the homie Brad Lee, meeting up with a couple of the other homies, Wes Watson, etc. Heading, jumping on my plane, heading to Dallas to pick up Jesse Lee, heading to Miami uh, to rock two days of a mastermind later this week. You know what time it is, leaving Vegas, on Eric's jet, down to Miami, hit the mansion. What we're gonna do is just drop heat, change the game for everybody who wants to be part of what we're doing, which is leveling up in all areas. If it's not fitness or finance or mindset, we're not fucking doing it. I left some rats on the bed, you can keep it. This shit getting deeper and deeper. I dig it, my shelf won't be and I was broke, had to fix it. A shark in the water, you swim with the Luffy. I hit the day by tomorrow, she miss it. I grab a net, she look up, then I kiss it. I'm not a goat, but I fit the description. I like the post, so I get the prescription. We walk around with them bands and I breach it. This gun ain't gon' jam when I blow, I ain't missing. I'm dropping hit out the hit, I'm just chilling. But I'll send a hit while I chill with my children. Bigger the business, the bigger the office. I fuck around and found me a shred and I caught up. They call for my artists, they making me offers. I don't even bargain, I start from the bottom. I lost a Ferrari. Las Vegas, Nevada. I woke up the following day and went harder. I'm cracking my shit. Now they see that I'm smarter. I gotta get money. I love to get charter. I gave up four burgers at once for a startup. I can't let them down. Walk around with my guard. I'm screaming out YOLO. Yeah, that's still the motto. I know I be on some shit that they ain't thought of. Sins. I got sins on my mind and some M's. Thank you. This has been a monumental morning for me. So thank you for showing up. You're teaching us the law of exposure. Your example of one. Yeah, that was. That really landed, and when you have a desire, you just do it because once it's exposed. There's fear or love you can operate from. If you just have a desire and you go after it, if it's not a negative desire, because all negative desires are simply frustrations of positive desires. All negative desires are frustrations of positive desires. It's your inability to adapt to nature's law, universal laws of positive. Yeah. So I mean, the point is, is just go after. Yeah. That's my question on universal laws. I didn't know that one, and that really landed. Can you teach us some other universal laws that you use as guidelines for your life? So whatever you release, you'll possess in turn. So I can't treat you bad because I'm going to feel bad. So be selfish. Be selfish as fuck. Treat someone so... I will do so much and be so rude to people so I don't feel bad. I'll be sad cracked sometimes when I feel people. And I'm like, ah, fuck, I fucked up the bitch. And like, that was me just being, being taught again that we're not perfect or whatever. But I think that we're not perfect shit. We definitely can. Yeah, we can choose to be perfect with our disciplines or habits. The law of divine oneness is definitely, and the law of compensation, the more you put into something is what you get out of. Mm-hmm. So I put so much into my Instagram page that I'm walking down the street, they're like, you changed my life, you changed my life, you changed my life, you changed my life. I'm like, oh, yes. I get it. And they're like, yeah, this is what you, the guy at the gym the other day, some kid, he was from his hometown, like a dope fiend little kid, he was like, yeah, like his chain on, he was like a little bit raggedy, he, he like wanted to be like me and Eric, and he's like, he's like, fuck, bro, like, conscious community, Wes. And like, if he doesn't know how to explain it, that doesn't matter. You know, a lot of stuff like that we don't need explaining. Like, you want to be able to hit someone with a gem that gets them from needing to know and understand into action. I'm very good at what I do because I don't explain it. Don't explain it. Just give them that one sentence that's so clear that we know in our 
heart the wisdom that's true that gets them, which is good to on the pyramid. And it's like the bottom is knowing and understanding and then action. And when you can get people from needing to know and then fully understanding, you can get them to act very quickly. A lot of people are like, wait, explain to me. No, fuck you. Like, I won't do it. And I'm like, you know, you, your biggest problem is that you want to talk more about what we're about to do. I need you to act. Because we don't... We don't think our way to positive thought. We act our way to positive thinking. The positive mind will be able to do anything that I give you. So any blueprint I give you that is like miles long, there's no end to it. The positive man can do it. My team, my guys, they can do it. Nigga, you know the scope, nigga. The hate shit ain't gonna get you nowhere, nigga. Yeah. Gosh. Okay, guys, just do whatever makes you feel uncomfortable and just keep going. And just as, as long as you focus on everybody else outside of you, what you're going through does not matter. I promise you. It is not about the messenger. It is the message. Wes Watson always spitting it like he always does, hitting me right here, telling me that I'm not going to go anywhere or be anybody if I don't put in that massive work for other people, because it ain't about me. If you can help enough other people, you'll, you'll get everything that you ever wanted or needed. What's going on, everybody? My name is Brad Dunn. I am the CEO of Reliant Fitness. We are down here at Miami for Eric Spoffer's Mastermind event. And I'm just here to learn, man. I'm here to grow through personal development from heavy hitting entrepreneurs that are some of the top performers of our time so I can take my mindset, my physical ability, and my business to the next level. Dude, just straight winners, savages. Like these people come on stage and drop fucking bombs. Not to mention Brad Lee, but it is straight fire. They're giving everybody gems. Like for what we paid to get in here and what I'm gonna be able to do when I leave here, the little bits of knowledge that I've gained from these speakers so far, I'm gonna be able to grow exponentially over the next month, the next two months, the next year. Get off the fucking fence, dude. We don't half step, we don't fence ride around here. It is all in. I'm going to quote my boy Wes here, but it's all offense, no defense. What's up, guys? This is Peter Kell at Eric Spofford's Inner Circle Mastermind here in Miami. Let me tell you what. I have gone to a fuck ton of masterminds in my career, and I have never seen a lineup, a crew, a community of gangsters this much. I was hanging out with a guy who just sold with a company for a half a billion dollars, the founder of BoxyCharm last night. Half the room is fucking Rolexes on, and I'll tell you what. The second you're around these people, the feeling being around these people, it just makes you want to level up. Suddenly, this next level is normalized. Wes Watson is yelling at people for not making $2 million a month in profit. Like, that's the kind of community and environment that's coming out here. I mean, I remember when they let me out of prison, they gave me a $200 check. It's called gate money when you leave the penitentiary. So I get out, I have 200 bucks. The only thing you should ever do at the beginning is invest in you. Because the best you will get to your goals quicker. If you still have shitty habits, that's all in front of you on the way to your goals that you're trying to accomplish. I know, I know, you guys want to be millionaires, you want that big old business, but you're in the way. I can teach you how to build a business online very quickly. A coaching business or any business that's thriving through your personal brand, I can teach you very easily. But if you have bad habits, it's not sustainable. 